Hello students once again welcome to TG campus so today we are come up with another new series that is issue of shares so let's begin with our new series issue of shares so in this series what we are going to cover so in this series we are going to cover different important concepts under the chapter of issue of shares in first video we are going to cover about so what is meaning and types of share capital so we are going to discuss about what is share then what is share capital and what are the different types of share capital so let's begin with this so first of all in order to understand what is issue of shares what is share capital what is types of share capital we have to understand one basic thing is what is capital sir in order to start any business you required what you required a capital whether you are running a sole proprietorship business or a partnership firm business the first basic primary requirement is capital and in order to start a company business you require huge amount of capital and company can collect that capital by issue of shares to the general public and after issuing shares to the general public whatever money collected by the company in total is known as share capital of the company so now we have to discuss briefly here so what is share capital now the total capital of the company is divided into number of small indivisible units of a fixed amount and each such a unit is called share as i said for company business you require required huge amount of capital and company can collect that money from a general public by by way of issue of shares for example company required 10 lakh rupees of capital so what company can do company can divide that 10 lakh rupees into the small small number of units or you can say small small number of amounts and company can collect that small small number of amounts in in terms of units from the general public so the total 10 lakh rupees that company is going to collect in a small numbers from the general public so that small number of amount that company is going to collect from the general public is known as shares right the fixed value of a share printed on the share certificate is called nominal value or a par value or a fa face value of the share so what is important here the fixed value printed on the face of the share so what is printed on the face of the share if you are interested in investing into shares of the company suppose you are ready to give 1000 rupees to company right what company will give you company will give you share certificate in that share certificate it is mentioned that what is a face value nominal value par value or you can say basic value of that share right so if basic value of the share is printed on the face of the share certificate for example the basic value of the share is 100 rupees right however company can issue shares at a price different from the face value of the share if the basic value of the share or you can say nominal value or a fixed value or a par value of the share is 10 rupees or a, for example 100 rupees and company can issue that shares at a different prices company can issue shares more than the 100 price 100 rupees as well right then the liability of the holder of the shares is limited to the issue price of the shares acquired by the by them so what does it mean suppose there is one person whose name is parth and parth is interested in investing 1 lakh rupees into the business so is going to purchase or is going to take 1 lakh rupees of shares from the company so it means parth is liable up to rupees 1 lakh only right he he is willing to give 1 lakh rupees to the company right and so far company collected 80000 rupees from him it means company is going to collect only rupees 20000 from him not more than that so what is the meaning of that line so meaning of that line is sim simple the person who is holding the shares of the company so that person is known as shareholder and liability of the shareholder is limited to the amount he subscribe for so here par subscribe for 1 lakh rupees of shares so his liability is up to rupees 1 lakh right so that is a share capital for you now after discussing share capital we have to discuss about types of share capital so basically there are different types of share capital first and most important uh type of share capital is nothing but authorized share capital so what is authorized share capital basically so authorized share capital is nothing but 
it indicates companies having this much of authority to collect money from the general public for example if companies authorize capital is 20 lakh rupees it means maximum company can collect 20 lakh rupees from a general public by way of issue of shares it is known as authorized capital right so what is authorized capital as i said in my example companies having 20 lakh rupees of authorized capital it means companies having maximum authority to collect money from a general public that is rupees 20 lakhs by way of issue of shares right so that is authorized capital so next type of capital comes is issued share capital so what is issued share capital now for example companies issued share capital is 15 lakh rupees right so it means sir no doubt companies having authority to issue and collect 20 lakh rupees by way of issue of shares but at present company requires only 15 lakh rupees so companies willing to collect 15 lakh rupees from a general public by way of issue of shares so that is nothing but the issued share capital of the company in my example it's a 15 lakh rupees next so after issued capital next comes is subscribed capital so what is subscribed capital for example subscribed capital is 12 lakh rupees subscribed capital is 12 lakh rupees so i can say a subscribed capital is a part of issued capital only how so so company's willingness is to issue and collect 15 lakh rupees from the shareholders so that is the issued capital of the company but sir actual generally interest is shown by the public is only for a 12 lakh no doubt company wish to collect 15 lakh rupees from a shareholders or from the general public by way of issue of shares company is offering 15 lakh rupees of shares but sir willingness of the general public to invest into the company is only 12 lakh rupees right so that is nothing but the subscribed capital so i can say subscribed capital is part of the issued capital for which actual interest shown by the general public right so that is a subscribed capital for you then after subscribed capital so next is called up capital so what is called up capital for example a called up capital is 10 lakh rupees so what is what was the subscribed capital so subscribed capital is nothing but that much of rupees general public are ready to give you in the form of shares in my example subscribed capital were 12 lakh rupees so general public are ready to give give you how much general public are ready to give you 12 lakh rupees right but sir as per the company's requirement i'm calling from the general public to pay only 10 lakh rupees today so that is nothing but the called up share capital so i can say a called up share capital is a part of is a part of subscribed capital only that company called today for collection purpose right that is the called up capital for you so next after called up capital next comes a paid up capital so what is paid up capital for example my paid up capital is 8 lakh rupees sir no doubt i called from the general public to pay 10 lakh rupees right so that was my called up capital but practically it's not possible that i'm going to collect entire 10 lakh rupees so suppose only 8 lakh rupees i have collected from the general public against the subscription or against the call that i have made to the general public so i able to collect how much i able to collect only 8 lakh rupees so i can say 8 lakh rupees that is the paid up capital that I have collected is a part of called up capital only right so 8 lakh rupees is the actual money that I'm having on my hand at present by way of issue of shares so that is known as paid up share capital after paid up share, share capital next capital comes is a reserve capital so what is reserve capital sir see in order to understand reserve capital you have to check here sir my authorized capital were 20 lakh rupees yes or no my authorized capital were 20 lakh rupees and how much i issued sir i issued only 15 lakh rupees at a present it means i still not yet issued 5 lakh rupees of capital right so that 5 lakh rupees of capital that i have not yet issued is known as is known as reserve capital so my reserve capital here is 5 lakh rupees right so why this term as reserve capital because companies are going to collect this 5 lakh rupees only at a time of winding up of the company or only at a time of 
there are some emergencies in the organization at a time company can call 5 lakh rupees from the general public or company is going to issue 5 lakh rupees to the general public for by way of issue of shares right so that 5 lakh rupees of capital which is reserved capital company is going to collect that money by way of issue of shares whenever there is an emergency and whenever there is a winding up of the company that is nothing but closing of the business right so that is the reserve capital for you so we discuss here different types of share capital which comprises of authorized capital issued capital then subscribed capital called up capital paid up capital and reserved capital hope you understood this right so we concluded here so what is a share capital and what are the different types of share capital i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for the upcoming videos in the series of issue of share capital thank you